Hey guys, it's your boy Mr. Mike HD here, back again with another video, boys. This time we've got Man of the Match Quincy Promes, 85 rated, insane looking card. He got it for the Copa del Rey performance where he did bits, I believe. Yeah, he's not an insane looking card. Before we get into this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be much appreciated. Put notifications on so you'll be notified when I'm uploading and streaming. And whilst we're at it, thank you for 3.4k subscribers. I put a lot of work in. You guys seem to be enjoying the videos recently. We've been growing crazy. So you can keep it up and show support. That'd be absolutely insane to keep me motivated. Um, to uh, keep me motivated to keep uploading these videos. But yeah, let's get started into it. Let's smash 25 likes. Follow me on my socials, links in the description and on the screen. But yeah, he's got 91 pace, 85 dribbling, 85 shooting, 82 passing, 70 physical. Four star week for five star skill, which is crazy. Five foot nine. And his preferred foot is the right foot. He cost me 225,000 coins, so this card does not come cheap. He should be dropping soon, but I've, I don't know if they're out for one day or seven days. Comment down below. I know before, sometimes they were. Back on the other FIFA, they used to be out only for one day, so they were pretty rare and they would increase in price dramatically. But after some, I think last FIFA, some of them were out for seven days. Comment down below how long was the duration. Let's look at the in game stats so 89 pace, 92 sprint speed, 88 fin finishing, 80 attack and position was pretty decent. 79 composure is a stat that doesn't seem too appealing for a striker, but we'll see how it goes. 89 agility looks pretty good, 86 stamina, 85 jumping. 83 ball control, he looks really good boys. 78 curve is a stat that doesn't look too good, but we'll test them out in game. 85 vision I like. Um, he's got 85 long shots, which is pretty good. 88 finishing, which I love. But yeah man, Quincy Promes, his left mid card OP, he's got ones to watch. Now he's got the striker card, let's see if he's going to be good. And will he be able to take over those La Liga strikers such as Griezmann, Suarez. And is he worth 225,000 coins boys? Let's... Let's take this guy into the game and see how he does. Hopefully he's going to be good, man. There's so much hype around him. Hopefully he's going to do bits. Like, when I saw this card, I was like, holy moly. Like, bruh, what a team. What a card, sorry. But this is the team I'm going to be using for, for now. Second game and third game, I'll be uh, putting Nakata in the camera as well. Not the best looking team. It's a decent standard La Liga team, you know what I mean? But yeah, we go for, into our first game with this Quincy Promise striker, man. Let's just hopefully he does bits. Let's look at this guy's team. This guy was taking his time. I think I was taking. My, oh yeah, I was taking my time. But yeah, division rivals, boys. Kind of like how's your foot champion records looking? How are you finding the new um, what's it called? The new patch in FIFA. How are you finding it? I'm currently nine and four in foot champions. Hopefully I'll do all right. Hopefully I can turn around. I need to win six out of my seven games to get what's it called to have a chance to get elite. But we do come up against a team with Foot Future, Guendozi. Nabil Fakir, 87, 86, N Nicolas Pepe, third in form, I believe. He's got the 90 Danny Alves as well. Brilliant looking team, man. From the start, I realised with Quincy Promise, his dribbling is immense. Absolutely insane. Pfft, no words for it, man. Like, if you have Pacey Wingers beside him, like, I've got Jolson Martins, right? That was a poor shot by him, but it happened. That was just me. But if you have a pacey wingers beside him, this guy, he's a skiller, man. If you if you like skill moves and you like he's got five star skill moves, four star weak, but like that was brilliant play by him. The way he just went through the defenders. Unfortunately the goal it didn't go in. Brilliant save by his keeper, I believe it's De Gea. But that's just brilliant, man. The way he just goes through defenders is insane. And I haven't seen a striker do that like so easily. He's got really good passing as well, man. Like, if you've got Pacey Wingers beside him, he's the perfect. He's that player for the counter-attack. He looks so sick. Brilliant turn. He's a skillful player. Out of nothing, he can create something. Look at that. I just love it. He was so fun to play with. Brilliant. Look at that. Look at the way he just zooms through all the defenders and he slots the goal in. Absolutely insane. Love it. 28 minutes in and he does that. He literally just went through his whole defence. Simple as. Brilliant goal. Brilliant finesse as well. Quincy Promise, Third, two, like two, three minutes later, we do have a penalty. He does not miss, puts it in the back of the net. Boom. His shooting is seeming like it's looking good right now, okay? Obviously, it's only the first game. We're only 30 minutes in, so I'm going to be playing a few more games with him to see if it's consistent. But 32 minutes in, he gave me a good first impression, to be honest. But yeah, 31 minutes in, he's a goal scorer, man. He scores us two goals 
in 32 minutes. Simple as. Puts us 2-0 up. Brilliant. Quincy Promes, man. Crazy. One thing I realised, despite his composure being pretty poor, like I think it was 79, I believe, despite his composure being pretty bad, not being the best, he did feel good. Like, his composure was not an issue. Like, he didn't hesitate when shooting. He felt pretty good. Like, he said 79, but I didn't even realise it was that low. Like, I didn't see it in game being at that low. It didn't feel like it being that low. So he was really good. He was composed. He was scoring. He was, like, finishing it. Like, he's one of the best strikers shooting-wise that I've played with. One thing I like about him is the skills, man. He's a skillful player. He's and he's unpredictable. Like out of anything, he can, like out of nothing, he can create something because he does have he does possess those skill moves. He's got four star skill, uh, five star skill moves, four star weak foot. So he's good with both feet, boys. As you guys can see, first game he gets us a ten rating, which is crazy. Ten point oh, man of the match. We're gonna go jump onto the second game, boys. We do come up against Red and Altovic. Flashback storage. Rashford Red, Red Lindelof, Red Allison, Socrates, nice looking team man, really nice looking team to be fair. We do tackle him there. This game I did say I was going to put Nakata, which I did. Nakata, brilliant through ball to Quincy Promise, who's going one on one, brilliant save by his keeper. I thought he was going to move his keeper due to the finesse, like when they moved the keeper, guessing I'm going to finesse it, so I tried to go near post. Love the flip flap. After the La Croqueta, he's just insane man, he feels so good on the ball. By far, one of the best players on the ball. Simple as. Look at that. He's just so fun to play with. But yeah, um, obviously his strength is an issue. Let's get into the first con. His strength is an issue, boys. He is not the strongest of players. He does get barged. He does get bullied off the ball pretty easy, to be honest. But due to him being so fast, being so mobile, agile, his agility is insane. And being that skillful player and being fast, it does... Like, it makes up for it, you know what I mean? It makes up for his strength not being the best. Look at that finesse, top bids, no chance for the keeper. His shooting is impeccable, okay? I'm telling you, out of 10 shots, he will score 8 or 9. So, he's insane. Shooting-wise, if you want a gold machine, he's the one for you, man. If you want a player that can create chances out of nothing, he's a skillful player, is unpredictable, he's the guy for you. But yeah, one con is his physical, boys. His physical is pretty poor. Not the best, he does get barged off easily. One of the weakest strikers that I have used in-game. His pass is pretty decent to be fair. It's not not too bad, you know what I mean? It does a job. Like I don't I I don't see an issue with it. His dribbling his dribbling and shooting are by far his best stats. He felt really good on the ball. His ball control is insane. Just going through defenders, controlling the ball nicely. Oh, pfft, oh man, he feels so good on the ball, man. He feels so good. But yeah, his ball control is insane. His dribbling, he goes through defenders like their cones. Simple as. Brilliant tiki-taka play with Nakata and Quincy Promise. I was going to shoot, but just release it to Brahim Diaz, who slots it in. Puts us 1-0 up. But yeah, he does come back a little bit. He's that player that... He's really good for the counter-attacks, okay? If you've got that attacking formation, or even the defensive formation, he's really good for the counters, boys. Especially defensive formation, if you've got like the two CDMs and stuff. You got the two CDMs and sit back and have to wait for the counter. This guy's a perfect player for you. Simple as. His pace, he felt fast on the ball. His dribbling is impeccable. His shooting, his shooting and dribbling are by far the best stats he's got. He does say 70 physical. He does feel a bit, a bit weaker than that, to be honest. His passing is pretty good. It does the job. Nothing too crazy, but it does the job. It's not like he can't pass. He can pass. He's good for the tiki-taka link-up play, which is good. He got four star speaker, uh, four star weak foot. He did feel good on his left foot. To be fair, felt felt really good. His skill moves are insane, man. You can do any skill moves out of nothing. You can create something. Let's get into the ratings, boys. Out of ten, overall, out of ten, I would say this guy is an is an eight. He's an eight, just for the fact that he's pretty weak on the ball. And I believe there's better strikers out there. Okay, despite all scoring, banging the goals in and everything, I do believe there's better strikers out there. I don't know, man. Like, his composure was pretty low in game stat, but it felt pretty good. But yeah, out of 10, I'm giving him an 8. Is he for champions ready? 100%. He is a game changer. Value for coins? 225,000 coins seems to be a lot of coins for this card because I played with better strikers or strikers that are as good as him for cheaper, you know what I mean? So, value for coins, I'll probably give it a 6, man. I don't think he's worth 225,000 coins, to be honest. I just don't. You can even put his one to watch there, or just put his in form and put him left forward and he'll do the job. I feel, I feel like a Griezmann or Suarez would be as good as this guy. 
or even in Naki Williams. I felt like in Naki Williams was better than this card because Naki Williams is a bit stronger than him, way stronger than him. And yeah, Naki Williams just felt better than this card. Is he value for coins? No, he's not. Is he worth 225? He's not worth 225. Is he an insane player? Yes, he is. He's a really good player. He's a game changer, but he's not worth this high amount of coins. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below, hashtag 85 if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, don't forget to go check my trading group. Links in the description. It will be starting on the 1st of February. You get access to exclusive trading content. Links in the description, boys. If you guys can join it, that will be absolutely insane. Like, comment, subscribe. It's been your boy, Mr. Mike HD here with 85 Manavach, Man of the Match striker, Quincy Promise, player of you. See ya. Adios.